Late last year, a change in the corporate status of Blue Cross Blue Shield prompted the Michigan legislature to require the company to contribute $1.5 billion over a period of 18 years to the newly established Michigan Health Endowment Fund. Members of the Fledging Fund met with community health professionals from across the Upper Peninsula today in Marquette as part of an ongoing statewide listening tour. The tour was designed to provide the fund with an opportunity to hear concerns, challenges, and promising innovation groups from Michigan have with regard to health care. Really, the whole goal is to listen and learn and hear what's going on in communities, hear what might be working, hear what we could possibly replicate in other areas of the state. So it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for us to really get off the ground and really have a positive impact on the health and wellness of seniors and kids in the state of Michigan. We're trying to first learn uh, and then do, and hopefully uh, the result of this is that we'll understand a little bit better what are the regional disparities and the regional priorities. Uh, and with that, it'll help inform any grant making we do and any fund distribution that we do down the road. Many of the issues brought up by UP healthcare groups focus on the need for improved communication between providers and enhanced education for families, the elderly, and children about healthcare opportunities in the area. Thoughts on transportation for the elderly, physician recruitment, and mental health were also a part of the day's discourse. The Michigan Health Endowment Fund will be giving a set of pilot grants to statewide organizations this year. The fund will be using the information gathered on the listening tour to provide further grant opportunities in 2015.